Hey guys, welcome back to the AJ Analysis channel where today we are doing a video which I feel like I probably should have done a while ago. Recently we've been talking about a lot of different strikers which could sign for Manchester United. We've been talking about the impact of Vekhorst at the club, but also how someone like Osserman could come in, Harry Kane, Evan Ferguson, all of those players. And kind of whilst doing that, I kind of forgot to do the video on literally the only permanent striker currently contracted to Manchester United. Anthony Martial, where does he stand in all this? Does he have a role to play? Uh, does he have a future under Eric Ten Hag? If he does, what is that future? What can he offer to the team? Is it too late? Etc, etc. We're going to be talking about all of that today because I think we know about Anthony Martial. So much quality, so much talent, so much potential. Of course, signed for quite a big fee several years ago now. And, you know, at the time the price was knocked. People were criticising it. However, performances quickly showed how good a player he is. What's happened? Why hasn't it gone right for Anthony Martial? What, what's he good at? What's he bad at? Does he have a role to play? That's what we're going to get into today. I want to talk to you about an amazing tool to help you become a more composed and confident footballer. Be Your Best is football training in virtual reality. Developed by experts in Norway, it's the perfect way to improve cognitive performance, improving scanning, decision making and memory from anywhere in the world. In Be Your Best, you will go through over 800 scenarios recreated from professional games. A bit like this one from Luka Modric. You will play from his point of view and receive feedback for your performance along the way. Be Your Best is used by athletes from all around the world, with Arsenal star Martin Odegaard using it in his return from injury. And it's also backed by science, with a recent 9-week study seeing players increase their scan rate by a staggering 28%. And now you can get 20% off your first month or year by using code HUB20 at checkout. So make sure to use BeYourBest.com or use the link in the description. We're going to start with a bit of a profile because he is now 27 years old, which means at a time when we're kind of questioning him, he actually should be coming into his prime. So kind of straight away, that's not really a great sign for his future. At 27 years old, you expect a player to be settled and established and really performing at their best. This is when a player should be coming into their peak. Is that the case with Martial? It's difficult to say because he just doesn't play very often because he's never available. So not a great start for him. One year left on his contract with the option to extend by a year. Are United really going to take that? I'm not sure. Let's have a look. So, in terms of what I think Martial is good at, I think one thing that we would all agree is his link play. So, you know, dropping into these areas into the midfield, getting the ball, kind of doing these tight little turns, and combining with his teammates. And he's also, uh, sorry, he's often been very good at combining with Bruno Fernandes. Dropping into these areas, brings the centre-back with him, he's got a good bit of strength to hold him off. He lays it off to someone like Bruno Fernandes, who can then play from there, creating the space in behind the defence. That is what we know Martial is very, very good at. Almost deep lying forward or false nine esque at times, he really does have that skill set. And his FBF report certainly backs that up. In terms of his passes completed, he ranks in the 87th percentile and uh, pass completion rate as well. In terms of percentage, again, the 97th percentile. Progressive passes, he does that well. He completes a lot of his short passes, a lot of his medium passes, not so many of his long range passes, although he doesn't attempt them too often. But we can see down there, ranking in the 93rd percentile for assists. He really is very much a creative forward, the 91st percentile for passes into the final third, the 83rd percentile for passes into the penalty area, and the 88th percentile for progressive passes. So not only is he dropping deep and linking the play, popping off to Bruno Fernandes or Fred or Casemiro, he's also able to get on the turn and kind of thread balls through, whether that be Anthony running down this side or kind of more commonly Martial on this side of the pitch, kind of creating his space in behind, he drops deep and then has that passing ability to bring someone like Marcus Rashford into the game. We know Martial is very good at that, and that makes him a really good, initially, a counter-attacking striker, because he has that ability to hold the ball up and, again, create that space in behind for his team, but also in sustained possession as well. If United are kind of building possession high, Martial has this ability to drop deep, link the play, and kind of knit the move together. That is what he is really good at. And, you know, his ability to kind of do this play over the past few years has seen him really getting the best out of Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford's form dipped last season, but perhaps that coincided with Martial not being in a team. Because the years before that, we really saw some good seasons from Rashford. And a lot of Rashford's best moments have come from having Martial there. Veghorst currently is doing a good job of getting the best from Rashford. Rashford's having a brilliant season. But just wonder, could Martial get even more out of him? Because they do have a really good understanding. They do have both have this tendency to sometimes drift left, sometimes drift inside. Naturally, that makes quite a nice dynamic. Because it means that... You know, again, if Martial's dropping deeper, potentially to the left-hand side, again, it creates this room for Rashford to come into. 
but also Martial's kind of close control, close footwork. It kind of drags players in, it gravitates players towards him, which then again creates room for someone like Marcus Rashford. So I do think that when Martial plays, he is a positive for Rashford because of his ability to link the play. As well as linking the play, Martial is also good at carrying the ball forward himself and his dribbling. His close control is very good. And we can see for carries into the final third, 1.8 per 90, and carries into the penalty area, 1.28 per 90, the 89th percentile. So again, uh, we were talking about the counter-attack earlier, but even in settled situations where you're trying to break a team down, Martial's brilliant technical ability, technical security on the ball, that ability to kind of tiptoe, twinkle-toe your way through a defence, Martial has that ability which unlocks defences. Stubborn teams, which are difficult to get through, Martial does give you that bit of quality where, you know, out of nowhere, he'll get this ball in from Bruno Fernandes and just wiggle his way through, work that bit of space and then put it into the back of the net. It's a very, very good trait to have. And again, it's something which has kind of seen him get a lot of praise when he's been at United because we have seen glimpses of real, real quality. I mean, all we have to look at is the 1920 season where not only was he doing this brilliant passing play, but also this kind of dribbling, the link play, a bit of everything, he was also scoring goals. And in the Premier League that season, he scored 17 goals from 11.74 expected goals. Now, for context, this was the 1920 season, that season which was interrupted by um, the coronavirus, and then kind of um, the games, the season was finished with games being played behind closed doors. Uh, the United shirt had the NHS badge on. People will often refer to it as NHS Martial. And... You know, it's a bit of a silly name, but he was really, really good during that spell. Again, it was the link play, it was the dribbling, but the goal scoring, he was a really cool, composed finisher. Ice in his veins in almost every single situation. So I think what we have seen from him is that he has the ability to do a bit of everything on the ball. He can dribble, he can pass, he can score goals. I think what he lacks potentially at times is that kind of box presence, that fox in the box nature, sniffing out chances. If we're talking about other strikers, which I've linked with United recently, Someone like Harry Kane can score from distance, Martial doesn't really offer that. Someone like Osserman gets himself into the box and scores a lot of headed goals, uh, as does Evan Ferguson. Again, Martial doesn't do that, and he doesn't tend to score many tap-ins. He's a scorer of good goals without being a good goal scorer. A good goal scorer gets a lot of scrappy little tap-ins. Martial has never really felt like a player which wants to get himself in that danger area, in and around the six-yard box, kind of put himself in, in a bit of danger really at times, but doing anything to get the ball in the back of the net. Martial has never really struck us as having that mentality, but also that movement, but that desire to get into those areas. And I think that desire is also something that is questioned in general. He has weird mannerisms, the way that he kind of plods about the pitch at times. He looks a bit laboured, a bit lazy. But is it actually true? Is it just a body language thing? Do we see him moving in a certain way, so therefore decide he isn't covering ground? Is that true or not? Well, I'm not too sure. But if we look at the numbers, in terms of especially out of possession, it doesn't look like he does too much work in terms of pressing super high or tracking back far. Again, if we're talking about in recent weeks, Evan Ferguson does a really good job of pressing. Osserman is relentless in a way that he chases players. Martial doesn't offer you the same thing. And if we look over the past 365 days, he ranks very low for tackles, tackles one, tackles in the defensive third, tackles in the middle third, and tackles in the attacking third, as well as dribblers tackled, dribblers challenged, Percentage of dribblers tackled, challenges lost, shots blocked, interceptions, tackles and interceptions, things like that. It's not very good. You know, this isn't the FBRF report of a player which really contributes much off, uh, off the ball, out of possession for his side. And we do know that Ten Hag does want that from a striker. He does want someone which will work hard. Whether that be pressing high or tracking back, you know. We saw Vekos brought in in January. Technically, he's not the perfect striker he doesn't score a lot of goals he hasn't got that burst of pace but what he does do is work really hard whether that's pressing or splitting the center backs or tracking back when the center backs are dribbling Vekhorst works incredibly hard and I think even when he's back from injury Martial is going to struggle to get into the team for that very reason Vekhorst contributes so much work rate so much workload and what that does is it means that Rashford can have a bit more freedom Rashford can stay a little bit higher because Vekhorst covers the ground for him Martial isn't going to do that so Martial's a weird tale, really. I mean, we all know the quality. He's a super good footballer. He's so technically nice to watch. When he's got that ball at his feet, the technical security, he can turn in almost any situation and create danger from nothing because of that ability to beat a man out of nowhere. Not even beat a man, beat two men, three men, four players in quick succession in a small space. He is very, very capable of doing that. And we've seen it time and time in his career. However, there is a real problem developing with him. And that's the fact that he's just never, ever available. You know, like, 
we can talk about the profile of a player, what they're good at, what they're bad at, strengths, weaknesses, for as long as we want. But at the end of the day, if you can't stay fit for even three games in a row, two games in a row even, it doesn't matter how good you are. You know, if I'm a professional footballer, it doesn't matter what skill set I have. I could be as good as Ronaldo or Messi, but if I can only play once every, what, 12 games or something, it's really not very useful. We can see so far this season, hamstring injury missed two games, an Achilles problem five games, a back problem six games, then a bit of an unknown injury five games, and now a hip injury nine games missed. He's just not available. So we can talk about his skill set and be like, oh, I can't wait for Martial to come back into the team because when he comes into the team, he's going to do this. He's going to drop deep and link with Bruno Fernandes. He's also going to get on the turn and play through balls in for Marcus Rashford. He's also going to link the play well. He's going to carry the ball well. He's going to drive into the penalty area and win us penalties. He's also going to score a decent amount of goals with his composed finishing. It's all well and good saying that, but at the end of the day, he can't get on the pitch. So I think Martial is a crucial, a crucial, a crucial three month spell in his career now. I think he's got three months to kind of prove that he deserves a position at United. He has to stay fit. He's got to be available for Ten Hag. And then if he does get called upon, he has to produce the performances. Like I said, at 27 years old, you know, he's running out of time in terms of in his peak to really prove himself. Now, of course, he's still got plenty of years left kind of in his career. He's not done yet by any means, but I don't know, it just feels like he has to do it now. If he wants to be a Manchester United player, you know, he might work somewhere else, absolutely. But if he wants to be a United player for the foreseeable future, for the rest of his career, I think this second half of the season is when he's got to do it. Because if not, Ten Hag will be in for one, if not two strikers in the summer. We could see someone like Weghorst come in on a permanent as a rotation option. And Martial could very quickly find himself kind of slipping away from the club, slipping out of memory and you know, just not working at United. And he'll be one of those players which we spoke about with so much talent that didn't quite make it. He needs to avoid that. Ultimately, it's on him. At the same time, it is a little bit harsh. You know, he can't help his injuries. I'm not blaming him. But at the end of the day, again, I said it the other day, you can't be too sentimental in football. United can't afford to pay this guy a couple of hundred thousand pounds a week if he can't play football. That's his job. If he can't do his job, he can't be here. There's no need for him to be here if he physically isn't there to do his job. So that is a problem which Martial now has. I think from a technical point of view, I think he does a lot which Ten Hag would like. I think we've seen him glimpses this season. He's very, very good. He tends to knit the attack together and get the best out of others, like we were talking about with someone like Rashford earlier. But if you can't play, you can't play. So now we just kind of have to wait and see. I just kind of want to give you guys, though, my update on the situation, my thoughts on Martial. You know, I still think he's a very good footballer with a lot of potential. But he's still got to work harder out of possession. He's still got to show a bit more of that goal-scoring instinct. He's got to get in the box and get those tap-ins, those scrappy goals. But more importantly, he needs to be available. If he can't do those things, he will not be in Ten Hag's long-term plans. If he can do those things, then he could become a key part of the puzzle. Whether that's as the first-team striker or the backup next season, he could become a key player once again. But simply, we will have to wait and see as to what happens. But that's all I've got to say for today's video because you can probably hear my voice is really going. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I know a lot of people are big, big fans of Martial. We all see the potential. But again, if he can't play, he can't play. So let me know what you think. Um, does he have a role to play till the end of the season? Is he a better option than Beckhorst up front? How many goals can he get between now and the end of the season? Why do you think he's getting so many injuries? Where could he go if he was to leave in the summer? All of that, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one.